We'll go ahead and uh, get started at 7 o'clock. We appreciate everyone that's sticking here with us tonight. I know the broadband internet is, is a big deal for our community, but also our Macklemore project is also going to be great for our community. And one thing I'll have to say, and I want to say publicly about Dwayne Horton and his team, is everything that they said that they would do at Macklemore, they have exceeded expectations. All the milestones, every, all the vision, everything that they said they would do, they have exceeded those expectations. So it's very exciting to see tonight uh, some of those evidence in, the in some of the screenshots that they're going to show you and share with you some of the future ideas and plans that they have because this has really become a destination uh, site here in Walker County. And one thing that's interesting that a lot of people don't realize is in the unincorporated part of Walker County, we have zero hotels and zero motels. What hotels and motels that are in Walker County are in the cities. They're in the incorporated part of our community. So we decided that if we're going to add a hotel, let's start out with a five-star. And so, you know, having the Hilton Curio uh, complex, you know, coming to Walker County with Dwayne Horton and his team is going to be phenomenal that our very first hotel will be a five-star hotel. So this time I'd like to uh, invite Dwayne Horton up. And Dwayne, the floor is yours. Thank you, sir. appreciate the opportunity to share tonight. Uh, before we get started, I do want to ask, was there anyone here? You know, we had uh, several town hall meetings before the project started uh, over in the community center, civic center. Was anybody in attendance here at any of those meetings uh, where we started sharing? All right, got a few here in the audience. So, um, you know, this is the first time we've really given a public update since those meetings, what, nearly probably uh, three, four years ago uh, at this point. But there's been a lot of progress um, up at uh, Macklemore, and I've got to say, uh, I believe the opportunities have uh, uh, proven to be larger than what we even thought. Um, I have to say thank you uh, for allowing us to work within the community. Uh, you know, this is my home community as well. Uh, we're going to show you some images tonight. But I literally went to uh, elementary school two miles from where our existing clubhouse is and the new hotels being built in Cedar Grove, uh, uh, there in the heart of the cove and uh, lived there from when I was five years old to about 12, and then I moved just a little bit closer to Chickamauga, but uh, attended uh, most schools uh, that exist in Walker County um, uh, and only moved one time. But uh, very thankful uh, to be a part of this, thankful for your leadership. Um, I will say they've never, um, you know, they negotiated very hard on uh, the behalf of the citizens. Uh, there was a lot being asked, and uh, they, um, uh, I assure you, they did not uh, give everything uh, that was asked of them, but we did work together very closely to figure out a way for Walker County to benefit without ever having to put the first penny up front to help make this project happen. And I want to show you tonight uh, not just what we're doing um, with the accolades and uh, the beauty of, uh, of this place and the draw that it's become, but also the dollars that are already coming back into the county's coffers because um, of what we've been able to uh, put together here. So, Dwayne, if you would. So, uh, real quick, I do want to run through uh, some of the accolades that we've received on the project, where visitors have come from, uh, the projects that we've built and uh, are continuing to work on. I want to talk through some community updates with tax revenues and job opportunities, um, or jobs that have already been created, and then really wrap up with job opportunities coming. That's, that's the big focus that we're going to be pushing over the next year is we are ahead of it, but we want Walker County uh, and Northwest Georgia to have the first opportunity uh, to take advantage of every job up here at Macklemore uh, that can be created. That's already happening. I think you're going to see that some, but we have a lot more jobs coming and we need your help um, to really uh, be prepared when, when this project opens up. So if you haven't been up to Macklemore, I would uh, ask that uh, you please do come up and visit one day. Uh, we have uh, the Craig Restaurant is open to the public uh, for lunch. I've, I've seen many faces in here that I've seen up there already, uh, but I would definitely encourage you to come up for lunch. This um, is really the star of the show, though. Uh, this is Macklemore Cove below, Pigeon Mountain across, a wildlife management area. But this is our 18th green uh, that did not exist until we took the project over. 
And uh, this has brought people from uh, not just from the whole region, uh, but from around the world already to come um, and visit here and see this. We'll just keep going through some slides. So this hole uh, was named top 10 greatest finishing hole of all times. Uh, and it's only been up there uh, three years now. That puts us on the list with uh, uh, locations like Pebble Beach, uh, Oakmont, uh, St. Andrews, which has been around for uh, many centuries now. Uh, but to be one of the top 10 of anything in the world, uh, much less uh, a place that people are coming and sharing uh, and enjoying. Uh, it's also been named the best finishing hole in America since the year 2000. There's only been three times that that's been, um, uh, that recognition's been given. The first time was Pebble Beach in 1965, and then it was Harbor Town um, in Hilton Head in uh, 2000. Um, so have that course recognition. And then, even though we're building another course, this year we were named top 10 single course destination in the whole country. So this isn't just us saying this. This is Lynx Magazine, Golf Digest, Golf Weeks ranked us as well. And, um, and it's great to have that recognition, but we're most excited about the recognition and the excitement of those that have come and visited uh, and stayed on site. Also been named top 100 great greatest uh, public course or course that you can play. This accolade, uh, while many of these other ones are great, this is, this is a huge one because it speaks not just to this hole, but how well the entire course is well-rounded. And, and um, to understand how significant that is, there's not another course on that list in Tennessee, Alabama, and many other surrounding states. Uh, and there's nowhere in Georgia from Atlanta north that's on that list. And we have that right here in Walker County. Uh, and there we go. Keep going. All right, well, we, got, we got the point. So uh, to let you know where people are coming from, so drive time markets, there's nowhere else in the southeast that has approximately, that has a project like us, that has approximately 14 million people within a two-hour drive of this location. Uh, we have direct state highway, inter, uh, state access, three interstates within three, 15 to 30 minutes of the location, and direct state highway access to, um, to the Macklemore. So no back roads, uh, no one driving through neighborhoods to have to access this. Direct flights to Chattanooga. Um, we have nearly 60 million people within the MSAs of direct flights to Chattanooga, and Chattanooga's uh, beginning to add more direct flights to it as well. And then to have a destination like this and to only be an hour and a half to two hours away from Atlanta Airport, the busiest airport in the world, it was all of this that really made it possible uh, and attracted the attention of Hilton and other uh, um, uh, world-class brands uh, to come and, and help make this place possible. These are locations where people are coming from. So we have a stay and play package right now. We have about 20 homes uh, that are private residences that people put in our uh, club managed rental program and we rent to people to come from all over the country as you can see. Uh, we don't show the whole world but we have some that have come from uh, Europe already as well and from Alaska uh, that have come and visit and you see some from even down uh, in um, Central America. We have um, uh, this program's already been great because the hotel tax that's been implemented this is already feeding into that. It's already feeding sales tax. These are people coming from out of town, visiting for a short period of time, and, and pouring tax dollars uh, into this community and creating job opportunities um, as well. Friends of Macklemore, these are people that have signed up across the nation to be what we call a friend, uh, not necessarily a member, uh, but a friend that's reached there, uh, out and said, we'd like to be a part of Macklemore and learn more and eventually come and visit. And then real estate, these are uh, qualified leads. Um, and many of these markets, we have sold real estate already uh, to people in Macklemore. We're going to look at some of those values here in just a moment uh, to, to help understand how the tax base is increasing uh, within these gates. A lot of attention obviously goes to the hotel uh, and to the golf course. But there's so much more to offer up here. Uh, we added it up one time, and there's some of the some of what I'm about to say overlaps. But if you look, there's two state parks on Lookout Mountain. There's Cloudland Canyon and DeSoto Falls. Each one of those state parks is considered one of the top state parks in each state. They're both within 20 minutes or closer of our location. 
We have two national parks. You have the Lookout Mountain National Military Park. You also have, just across the line in Alabama, uh, the Little River Canyon. If you haven't seen that, it's a great treasure. It's one of the newest national parks in the country. I'd recommend you go there. We have Lula Lake Land Trust and many other private land trusts in the area. You got Rock City, uh, Chickamauga National Park, and, and the wildlife management area uh, in the area. When we added it all up, there was over 7 million visitors a year coming to this area already, and they had nowhere to stay. They had to usually go back to Chattanooga and spend their dollars on food and drink or lodging uh, there. So to be able to capture this group that's already come into this county, already putting their footprint here, to give them a place to stay uh, and spend dollars, and again, create jobs within our community, very thankful. This is a rendering uh, that was just completed uh, showing uh, the hotel looking over Macklemore Cove, or the lodge. A rendering of the front elevation, rear, and we can go back through these. If anybody wants any of these images, we can uh, share these with you. This is the great room. Uh, so you come in on a second floor level, and then it drops down so you can really take advantage of the view. Uh, the restaurant uh, is right on the other side of this fireplace. One of the ballrooms, we have two ballrooms in the, loca in the conference center area. This is a cafe with a view off to the side that people would enjoy coffee. A bagel, this is the three mill restaurant. And keep going. And then uh, this is our fine dining restaurant as well. Keep going. Uh, image of our guest room. And you see the view out the mountain. So. This is progress as of December of last year. The bonds were just issued in September. So funding was not finalized till September, and this is the work that had already taken place by December. They had uh, some major footings in the ground, utilities starting to go in. Uh, you can see them running down a gas line already. Uh, so a lot of work happened in a short period of time, so keep progressing. And then this was just as of August. Uh, you can see already uh, this top floor is completely framed out. Every bit of concrete that you would ever step on inside the building is already poured now. Uh, so it's even further along uh, than that shows uh, at that time. It's progressing uh, very quickly and we're very happy with the team that's come together to make that happen. There is a video here. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's go past the video. Actually, if you will back up, let's do this. What's neat about this, this speaks to all the different players that are here. We have uh, Roland Aberg with us. Roland, if you raise your hand real quick. Roland's with Hart Howerton. Uh, Hart Howerton is recognized as one of, if not the greatest resort um, designers in the country. Uh, they got their start doing Disney World. Uh, Walt Disney hired uh, Mr. Howerton, was it, uh, to start, and uh, they've done some of the finest uh, developments across the country. They literally do pick their clients. And uh, this is a unique location. I'd love for you to speak to Roland after the fact. But this has Roland, this has Valor Hospitality speaking about Hilton. So if you'll play this and let us show you a glimpse of what we're working on. We started this schematic design on this project uh, about 10 years ago. I grew up just below the property down in the cove. You kind of take it for granted sometimes until you leave and then you come back. And you just really recognize the majesty of the place. It gives me the the pitch of this, this idea he's got. It was, it was just it was just huge. It's not this one 10 acre piece of land, it's all of Walker County. What it's doing in this community and, and Walker County bringing a ton of jobs to this area, be, being able to do that in a way that will be respectful of the environment, not just taking a standard architecture of a hotel, but that hotel has to be designed to fit here. And what would make it a building that would fit on a mountaintop? What would that be? You know, we tried to stay true to that with uh, materials from site. Uh, we're using a lot of stone that's actually gathered from the golf course or actually even from the site as we're digging the foundations. There's something more special about this that's very key. What I refer to as a fundamental human desire which is wanting to come to the edge. We have to look at what the spirit of the hotel is and what kind of story we're trying to tell. And getting that first impression, you only get it once. You know, we say we're above the cloud, but this is gonna launch us to new heights we never even imagined. 
be a top one hundred course to have the best finishing hole in golf in the last twenty years and one of the best in the entire game of golf. To be able to improve upon that in a way that we can with this really excites us because we already are passionate about the place and people that are here. Wayne's a visionary and he's an amazing visionary. He saw things here on this property that nobody else saw, but he realized that this property was special and, and I got here the first time I ever stood on it. It was absolutely amazing to me and I couldn't believe that, that all there was was a golf course. I've never seen this kind of quality and this kind of vision and passion from an ownership group. It has the opportunity to truly be one of the best resorts in the world. So it's just a sampling of the team that's coming together and really making this happen. Um, in addition, because of the demand that we have, we have another golf course that's under construction as we speak. Uh, when we were issuing the bonds, one of the major uh, points uh, with the bonds was, well, we were giving them how many guests we already had coming. They were like, well, this is great, but if your course is already filling up, where's our guests going to play? Um, so we had to assure them that we were already in works and had another course. Well, a lot of people think, oh, you're just building another course just to use up rounds. That is not the case. As, as, as excited and as thrilled as we are about what the existing course has done, this course, uh, and this is the words of others, Reese Jones and Bill Bergen are teaming up to design this. Reese Jones has designed more championship courses than any other golf course architect ever. Uh, U.S. Opens, Ryder Cups, PGA Championships. He said this property can host a major, and he also went on to say this property is one of the best sites he's ever seen in his life uh, in the game of golf. Uh, to give you an idea of how well this property works, other than the dams that we're building to capture water so we can irrigate with uh, rainwater, um, we're barely moving a little over six inches of dirt over the entire site. So very minimal dirt moving. Uh, the land lays so well for this. You're going to have five holes pressed up against the cliff edge. There's nothing else like this in the game of golf. Um, it will be uh, something, uh, you, every golf course is unique, but this will be something unique um, even in the game of golf um, from a comparison standpoint. Yes, and it's under construction now. It's a view from it. Um, we'll have more to share on that as we move forward and progress. Uh, the clubhouse is already open, operating, running successfully. Uh, we are generating profits um, uh, on food and beverage, on merchandise. Uh, again, with so many unique visitors coming, when they're here, they love the brand, they love the experience. We have some people that have already returned five times or more since we've opened from out of town. Um, to place, they'll come and play and then bring uh, another group back just because they want to share it and experience with others. Keep going. This is one of the new homes um, that's been completed and sold. This is a concept. So the entrance to Macklemore, this is Scenic Highway. One of the next things that we're working on is bringing um, a regional emergency uh, management center to the mountain uh, that'll help serve the entire mountain, not just Macklemore, but with the hotel guests, with the community and everything, and where we are, uh, we're a good central point on the mountain uh, without being too close to Chattanooga. We're hoping to be able to get, get a helipad and even uh, have a uh, life force or some other air ambulance service to the area. This is additional amenities. Uh, we're planning on having pool, tennis, pickleball, uh, playground, trails running all through this, event lawns, um, and then we have kind of a retail center uh, that'll be here, our design center, convenience store, hardware, um, and different uses, some additional dining uh, on the mountain, uh, an amphitheater. We're already doing songwriter series on the mountain now that's been very successful, and that's growing that we can host uh, more talent from Nashville uh, and bring in a larger uh, crowd and serve, uh, or audience and be able to serve them. And we're also looking at bringing me medical up to the mountain um, with some medical services. Um, and we're talking to some national, nationally known names in the medical industry about having a destination medical service here that will also be open to the community. 
uh, and then we have a chapel here, got some garden area. So you see a lot of clearing that's here. What we're taking advantage of, originally three of the golf holes that were originally built before we bought the place were going to be built on this side. So this land had already been cleared, and we're just trying to figure out the best use to create some open space on the mountain and, again, um, uh, create more opportunities uh, for people other than just golf. We have a golf village phase. This is a new phase that's getting ready to go in. This will add about 90 to 100 more homes uh, within the Macklemore community. Some images of what these homes will be. They won't actually touch. They'll be townhome-like product, uh, a product, but they won't actually touch. We're just launching this. We already have two under contract um, as we speak, and, and we haven't even broke ground on this yet. Uh, we have a training center that's coming in. This is going to be something really neat. Um, I hope I'm not breaking any trademark infringements by saying this, but this will be a top golf type experience in a destination. This will be gamified on our uh, existing range uh, where you can play. It'll show you how far you're hitting. Uh, and it'll be a great opportunity uh, to come improve the game or just have a good time with a corporate outing or with friends. One other thing that's not up here yet is we do a lot of family reunions. We do a lot of weddings. There's a lot of other activities uh, that are kind of uh, building within the community. But a lot of projects already have uh, underway, a lot more to come. Uh, but we want to give some updates on uh, how this is impacting um, the overall community and specifically Walker County. So when you look at sales tax, um, if we hadn't worked with the county and the state so well, uh, you know, with uh, Commissioner Whitfield, with uh, Senator Mullis at the state, uh, and then Mike uh, uh, becoming more involved with what we're doing and helping, um, this, uh, none of this would even happen right now. So currently, sales tax, let's walk through, because you have sales tax, you have hotel tax, and you have property taxes that are all working together. Currently, uh, there's about 315,000. These are all, to the best of my calculation, and if uh, I would ask the county to, to check these. If we're off, we'll make a correction. But to the best of our calculation, this is just to the county. This is not the state portion. So uh, there's about $315,000 a year already coming in on um, the operations that we currently have in sales tax. Uh, once the lodge opens, we're anticipating that'll grow to over $2 million a year alone in just sales tax coming into the county. Um, construction sales tax, because there's also sales tax on materials being delivered to the job sites. Uh, the lodge being built right now, now this is over a two year period, but it's at least a million if not more uh, coming into the county, so about a half million per year right now because uh, it's about a two-year project. Once we um, get our residential built up and, and the other construction activities, we anticipate it may be close to a half million dollars a year uh, that would continue in sales tax revenue just from the construction activity um, over a, uh, may possibly the next 10 years or more. Then you have the hotel tax. This hotel tax, and again, all of these taxes, unless you come up and use Macklemore, all of these sales taxes are being paid by people outside of Walker County and helping offset your tax liability, your needs, and being used back in the community. The hotel tax, through our stay and play lodging program, we're already paying over $110,000 a year and we're just getting that going. Uh, we anticipate that'll continue to grow. The lodge, uh, when it opens, stay back where you were for a second. The lot, thank you, Dwayne. The lodge, when it, his name's Dwayne, by the way, too. So this is Dwayne Farrell. So we keep it easy. All right. um, the lodge is anticipated to have a, approximately another half million or more in hotel tax. Now that's a state regulated deal. It has to go back into marketing uh, for the area, but that's helping bring people uh, to uh, to the communities um, and and see what Walker County uh, has to offer. So currently, if you looked at our revenue. Of the 300,000 and then about a half million per year here, and what this is, we're close to a million dollars a year already coming in to the county in sales tax. Once we get through what we're just now forecasting, it'll, it'll be three million or more uh, is what we're anticipating will come in uh, in, a, in a couple of short years. Then you have property taxes. So 
uh, tax assessor evaluations. In 2016, now I apologize, I couldn't break walk and day it out very easily with all the heavy lifting we have going on. So these are combined Walker and Dade. But I would estimate approximately 90% of these values are in Walker County, if not more. Um, but $18 million is what the tax base was. That was everything with inside the gates of Macklemore. The county said the fair market value of that was $18 million. Um, golf course, houses, everything else. That's already grown to $32 million and we didn't really get started. We, we purchased it in 2017. We started revising in 2018. So this is really just probably three years of increase, not six years. We believe that we've already created 70 to $90 million. And it usually takes a year or two for the tax assessor's office to catch up because they don't instantly reassess every bit of property. Uh, but we'll talk about that in just a second. So hopefully, as the tax assessor's office starts to catch this up and recognize uh, uh, what people are paying here, we believe it's already at this location. But again, that's just a process that naturally has to occur and take place. Um, at completion, we believe there'll be over $300 million worth of property value, excluding the hotel, uh, that will add to the tax base uh, of the county. So again, the way it worked out, whatever the fair market value is, the county assesses 40% of that. And then there's roughly a 25 mil, and that includes school tax, but you pay that as well. So I am counting school and the county tax together. It's not exactly 25 mils, but it's approximate 25 mils. So if you take 0.25 times 0.4, it works out to 1% of whatever that value is, it's what's coming to the county. So when we started, it was around 180. Right now, it's around 320, and we believe that, again, the value that's already been created, we're calculating it should be 700 to 900 as soon as uh, these updates are made. And we believe once we get to 300, that it'll be over $3 million a year coming in on that. So that other 3 million plus this 3 million is about $6 million a year coming into the county with very few services, very little work, um, uh, to take away from putting back into the general coffers and the general needs for the whole county. Give you some ideas of values created. When we bought Macklemore, there were a number of lots, home sites, that the county owned because people walked away from them and wouldn't even pay the taxes on them. Um, we, uh, they, wouldn't pay, they didn't pay dues within the HOA. We bought several of those lots from the county. Uh, currently, the K section, I think the average lot value on the tax assessor's uh, basis is around, it's either 25 or 35,000 uh, per lot. This year, we just had two in that section sell for 135,000, just for the lot only. Um, Canyon Ridge Road, we had another lot called H5. It sold last year for 450,000. PRC 24 just recently sold for 500,000, law only. Uh, a new home construction on a lot was 1.375. And then Clubhouse Lane, uh, a lot there, this just closed last month, maybe 30 days ago. Someone from Florida. Uh, and these were all third party transactions. Like we didn't know any of these people, they're coming from across the nation. And then our highest price lot so far is actually closed for $650,000 just for the lot. Um, and we believe there's even more value to be created. Are these bluff lots? This, this is not a bluff lot. And these are different bluff lots. This is a bluff lot in a different area from this bluff lot. Oh, this is... This is this house is not on a on a bluff. That's on a golf course, though. View. We can come back to this. Have any questions? So jobs. Let's talk about jobs for a little bit. Um, so in 2017, we started out with uh, when we bought the place. There were 15 employees on site. We had nothing to do with this, but many of those employees were actually undocumented as well. Um, 
In 2022, we have around 150. Now that's total. Within Macklemore operations, a lot of that's construction work, but we have about 100 employees that are actually on the payroll of the club and of the resort as well. We're expecting in just two years, we're gonna be 300. That may be closer to 400 actually, uh, when it's said and done, and then 2025, 20, 400 plus. So this is the job creation that's getting ready to come, and this is where we need your help, and we're gonna be making a strong push to really get it out there and let people know, and we'll talk about that in just a, a minute, to help us fill these positions, uh, because we, some of our best employees are the ones that live here in the community, um, and you'll hear from them, not tonight, but in the future. So out of the 100 that we roughly have right now, 32 are coming from Walker County, 21 from Dade, four from Chattooga, five from Catoosa, other counties in Georgia, and then 27 are coming across the state line. So where a lot of people typically live in Georgia and travel to Tennessee to work, we actually now have people coming from Tennessee working in Georgia. Um, so we believe if you look at our location, we will be a, uh, one of the highest uh, paid job opportunities from anywhere from where we are south. So anyone south of us that may want to travel to Chattanooga or even, I mean, north of Chattanooga or even south further to Atlanta area, we believe that we'll be one of the best uh, job opportunities, not just for pay, but also the benefits and the opportunities that go along with that. So some of the benefits that we have, very competitive hourly wage, uh, uh, wage uh, health care benefits that are very strong. We have two employees that had cancer this last year, and uh, both of them, one of them actually traveled to uh, Houston. What's the name of the uh, facility? MD Anderson. MD Anderson. They were covered going to MD Anderson um, uh, on their policy. Another one stayed here and had a consultation done by MD Anderson uh, with them. Both of them are making full recoveries and doing very well. Um, uh, so great health care, 401k matching, close to home. That was the biggest thing for me. Growing up here, there was nowhere I could really make a living or provide for my family. It's a real blessing that I can be back in my home community and working and providing uh, a living uh, for those and doing something I really enjoy in a place that I love. Um, lots of positions to choose from. I mean, the other neat thing about hospitality in a hotel it is literally open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It never shuts down. So uh, we definitely have three shifts, seven days a week, and uh, it's nonstop. So in the back is uh, our interim uh, managing director, Mark Bauer. He's uh, managed Callaway Gardens. He's worked with Dollywood. Uh, we we're very blessed to have him in with us. We also have Tom Schreiner our GM that's been uh, carrying uh, the load until Mark got here and they're working very well together. They can talk to you more about a lot of these positions that are coming uh, as well. Career growth and opportunity. We're gonna have starting opportunities, but we're gonna have some s salaries uh, well uh, past uh, uh, beginning six figures. We have some that we're already paying um, well into the six figures um, already and everything in between. The other thing that's really great about this, we're the international recognized location. We're bringing people from around the world that people that work here are gonna get the exposure um, to a worldwide experience. And because of our operator, Valor Hospitality, they have shared work programs where they can travel to other locations even and work in uh, the Gulf or work in uh, uh, Nashville or go up to um, New England or even South Africa or, or UK and gain experience and then bring that back here and, and, and uh, build a resume. So, and then 175 positions uh, that we're um, adding to and then 75 uh, to 100 more over time. So. Job opportunities, here's a list of them. We have a, a page that you can take with you. We also have a QR code that if you would scan, we are asking, begging for your help. We've, we have made uh, or caused to be made $250 million of investments over the last four years at Macklemore. By the time it's completely said and done, and this, is, this will be Dade County and others, we're anticipating that will actually be more than a billion. Uh, with the houses and everything else going in and the other uh, projects that we have planned. We can't do that without the community helping us accomplish that. We have some servers that are already working in Walker County, that live in Walker County now that are making, I'm gonna, 
Mark, I'm going to throw out a number, uh, but over 60000 a year as a server with the tips that, the, that uh, these people are coming and sharing. Uh, they're getting, um, again, a great um, opportunity to learn, but we've got jobs uh, across the gambit uh, for anyone that may want to participate and, and help us create a, uh, and make the destination that we already are even better. I will stop and tell you something personal for me um, that really, um, I want you to understand what this means to me. The location's beautiful. We saw the images and we saw the place. I believe there is a creator and you can't hardly stand on this property and not believe there's not. But we believe at Macklemore, you know, the land wasn't, as beautiful as it is, the land wasn't made in God's image. We were as people and we believe the way to be successful is for our people to serve one another and really honor that. And that's what you're going to have. We're putting together a video that will help share. We're going to bring other workers. One of the favorite things I heard out of a recent session was they felt like they were working at a family, that it was part of a, a community, that the people there wanted to help them. And that's what we want to be able to foster. And we know that the culture of Walker County is going to help us do that better than anywhere else. So again, if you will, please help us get the word out. Share with your friends, your uh, grandkids, your kids, uh, nieces, nephews, everybody, that we're starting to sign up, build a database, so that we can start unrolling and letting people know when the job opportunities are coming along. So. Again, if you register with us, uh, we have some sign-ups uh, tonight, but most everything will be online. Mark is here, Tom is here, um, and Roland is here if you want to speak about uh, his thoughts on what Macklemore is and what the opportunity is um, as well. Is there anything else? So I'm going to say thank you and open it up for any questions um, as well. I've actually got three questions. Yes, sir. Very, very good question. So we, we are trying to use it. I mean, we've worked with David Carlock. We've worked with uh, uh, Greg Smith excavating. We're, anybody that we can find that's a vendor uh, that can meet the needs and serve those that we're serving, we would love to know about them. I and that's a great point. I thought about that earlier and we haven't dealt with it. I would like to add a vendor page or sign up for vendors and partners that want to work with us. And I literally thought about that on the way here that we haven't done that yet. So we want to do a better job, but if you will get us your information, if, if you're interested or somebody else you know is interested, um, we would, we, uh, many of our workers are, even in our construction company and development company, are from Walker County. It, it is, and we will. Uh, we definitely have a strong desire. Um, I will say we've already uh, given to some scholarships and, and other uh, things. We are in a heavy growth investment phase right now. A lot of this money, even though we're paying it to, I'll tell you this, we paid a lot more to the county than we've returned to any investor. Uh, actually, we have not returned any dollars to any investors at this point in time. Um, but we will soon, and it will be an opportunity that we'll be able to do more and more, and we definitely have a heart to do that. Right now, we need to get, be, you know, get it to a sustainable state and, and get the support, but we, are, we definitely want to be giving back to the community because the community has given much to us as well. Now, I've got uh, my final question. Circling back to the outhouse, uh, it's going to be damming some water up there There's a small watershed that comes off the mountain right in the middle of that. Yes. Um, what is going to be the effects for that watershed? Well, there's there's two there's two blue line streams we're not touching. They will continue to stay their streams. We're not damming those up. What we're damming up is areas where there's just natural runoff, but it's not a stream. And we're going to continue to allow, you know, water to actually the recharge on those areas. 
if I heard correctly, is like barely a little over a day. Like a good rainfall will fill up uh, just there's so much collection there. So there won't be much interruption on any flow on that point. Both of those have been permitted by the state and by the county. I mean, rigorous reviews uh, now with, uh, you know, with federal law being passed down through state law. So, uh, but w they're uh, um, very aware of those streams and, and want to be a good steward and take care of those as well. And what was your name, sir? My name's David Pupoy. David, my pleasure. Yes. You might have said, did you have an estimated start date for the result? For the hotel? Yeah. Well, it's already, uh, go back, can we go back to an image? So it's already 50% complete. It's your opening date. Oh, the opening day. Uh, we should finish construction uh, November 17th of 2023 and actually open in late February, early March of 24. So, yep, so here's the, again, the probably this, it's even progressed significantly uh, from where that picture was. How many rooms? So, great question. 245 rooms. Uh, we have nearly a uh, little over 25,000 square feet of total conference and meeting space. That includes support. Uh, we have a spa, a large fitness facility, two full restaurants and a cafe, a cliff edge pool that'll be out here, and a pool bar. We're working on some other amenities uh, that would be added onto that as well. Thank you, sir. You got something you want to add before you step out? Should I? I mean, yeah. I didn't mean to. Same thing. You, look, this is a great project, and it's a team effort from everybody involved. And, you know, have you ever heard of Reynolds Plantation? That's called Reynolds Resort. That was in a poor county, Green County, 35 years ago. And if this is a regional impact, it's going to help. Uh, Walker Course Day, Chattooga. Catoosa and even Hamilton County and DeKalb County in Alabama. It's going to pull for all of those areas. And uh, Green County was poor some 35 years ago now, so a uh, wealthy county. Now, I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. And it is a true team effort, and I, I thank you and your team, and of course, Commissioner's team for making part of this happen. Thank you, Senator. Course, Greatly you appreciate it. Hanging on the sidelines. No. No, Thank you. This man has worked very hard for this county and this whole region, so um, we, he's been a pleasure to work with. Any other questions? <coughs> Mark, you have any comments you'd like to share? Or, uh? You did a fantastic job. As you said, we've got uh, back here got my business cards. Uh, we've got some available um, positions that will we'll start hiring. Uh, and I don't think we actually talked about that. Um, in fall of next year, um, and you sign up through the QR code, uh, we'll gather data and uh, keep you updated, uh, or keep your loved ones and friends updated on uh, progress, and uh, when we'll be hosting uh, the first of probably three job fairs in the fall. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, yes, we've got a lot coming up, and we, you'll see more of us. I uh, hope you don't get tired of us, but uh, we, we've got to find uh, positions for, uh, for this that's going to represent the county well. Um, I will add, there's a couple, there's often uh, confusion on the bonds. I do want to clarify this. The county in no way even issue the bonds, nor the development authority. There's a completely separate governmental authority out of Wisconsin called the Public Finance Authority that they, have, they were chartered to do economic development across the U.S. They've already done other projects in the state of Georgia. I think they've worked in nearly 40 states. That governmental authority, think like Tennessee Valley Authority, you know how they go across state lines. This governmental authority issued the bonds in Walker County, but Walker County did not issue these bonds. Walker County is not responsible for the repayment of these bonds in any way likeness uh, at all. I mean, Commissioner made that, he said, we will help you in every way possible, but we're not giving you any of our existing revenue and we're not um, going to guarantee these bonds. I mean, he made that extremely clear, and we worked together and figured out a way uh, to get it done. Well, something that's very interesting to let you know in closing, the bonds were $188 million. We had $800 million in orders for those bonds in one hour of going public, uh, just to let you know how strong and attractive uh, this was. So I know a lot of people are like, I can't believe people may come to our county or back door. They love it. 
They love the place, but they truly love the people. Reese Jones, who's been everywhere, says, I've been to a lot of special places, but what really makes this place special is the people that are there. And uh, again, we appreciate the opportunity uh, to work within the county. Yes? Now, I was just going to say one thing. When the hotel was dedicated, Dwayne had his children down there at the site, and he talked about the people. There was dozens and dozens of people. And he talked about when this child was born, these people got involved in the family, <laughs> so on and so forth. It, was, it took like an hour. And he opened, <laughs> he opened, then he opened up the scriptures and dedicated it with the scriptures. But you don't see many business people ever do that. These are very ethical, decent people. I mean, don't get the big head or anything. But it's it, it matters God's the kind of people you're dealing with here are good people. And they're straightforward. So I just want to that. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. <laughs> but thank you. Thank Commissioner, you, thank you very much. Thank you for being here tonight. And, you know, one thing, I think y'all got some extra copies of this, I believe you said in the back. So take one of these with you and, you know, hand out, hang up somewhere that people can see this because it's going to be very important that they fill these positions because one of the, the commitments Dwayne's went back on is he told me, and he put in the documents, that they were only going to hire 180 people. <laughs> now he's going to hire 400 people. So he's already changing the rules here. But, uh, but no, we were very hopeful that 180 jobs was a conservative number. And as you can see, there's already 100 plus people already working there. They don't even have a hotel or a conference center. Or, and he didn't mention, I don't think, the day spa. He's gonna have a full day spa there as well. The restaurant clubhouse is, is open to the public. Uh, you can go there for meals now. They do like you to have a reservation, and so you can go to uh, an app that's called Open Table. Open Table and make a reservation and you see their menu and things. So, Or you go to our website directly. Okay, their website or the Open Table app, or just call them. If you're not in an area where you've got computer service, you know, to the Internet, as we talked earlier, you, you know, if you don't have broadband to your home yet, uh, just call them up, make a reservation. That helps them manage the the number of people coming in and staff and food prep and all that. So you'll have a much better experience if you make a reservation. But uh, we will continue to do these updates as they progress. Uh, Dwayne has been after me for several months. This wasn't I invited them to come give an update. They wanted to come give an update. They've been after me to do this. And I said, well, let's, let's do this when we've got a couple of things we can put together. So these are almost two things that we've done tonight talking about gig speed fiber to the rural part of our community and a five-star hotel resort conference center in the rural part of our community most people say that's just not possible that's just not going to happen but it is real it is happening on both fronts and one of the first times i talked to Dwayne about this project several years ago he said you know one of the greatest things we like about walker county is you don't have an interstate he said, because you don't have all that noise pollution. And so we are so close, as he showed earlier, so close to the interstates. We're so geographically, you can pinpoint and see the interstates around us, but we don't have an, uh, the noise factor in the interstates to uh, corrupt the view. And so it's just a phenomenal project. I don't know anywhere else in uh, this part of the region that you could put such a project. And people come from all around the world. I've been several times out of town, and I always like to ask people this question when I'm in another market. I ask them if they like to play golf, and probably about 85% of the time they tell me they do. 100% of the time that I've asked those people, have you heard of Macklemore, instantly they've all told me, yes. I've heard of Macklemore, and several of them have been here. And I was at a convention in Savannah last uh, fall, and was having dinner with some people that, you know, was put together in a group. And the lady said, yes, she said, I'm sending my husband there for his birthday. I'm going to pay for three of his buddies and him to stay in one of the cottages. And I'm going to play, pay for them to play golf. And we were in Savannah talking about Macklemore. So it is widespread. And I think if you will talk to anybody you know that play golf, they have heard of Macklemore and most likely have already been there or have the desire to want to go there. So thank y'all for being here tonight. Thank you, Dwayne and the team. Y'all be safe travels home and look for more future updates coming soon. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.